Hey, what's up everybody? This is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket. Yesterday, I found something out by sort of accident, sort of just trying something, and that's transforming objects or anything in Photoshop, not by percentage, but by a unit, like pixels. Let me show you how. So here we are in the world of Photoshop. I'm gonna make any old shape, and that is just with the rectangle tool. And once I do that and create a little rectangle, random size, it's out here. If I have something in my document and I wanna change the shape of it or I wanna transform it with Command or Control T, now up here, I just have these percentages to work with. Now this, and this goes for any other object too, like pictures or text or anything. What I can do with these percentages is right click on them and change what the unit is. It doesn't have to be percent. It could be pixels, for instance. So I could do height and width in pixels, and I can adjust this to be, let's say, 300 wide by 500 tall, insert that in there, and now we have this 300 by 500 little rectangle. Same thing with pictures. If you were to bring something in that's a photo, let's say we just place embedded and we find a lovely photo that I took. This is from my uh, senior pictures. So we, we bring this guy in and we transform him again. Remember, Command or Control T. We have a width and a height, and it's actually already on pixels because we already changed this to pixels for my other object, so that's pretty nice. But if you wanted inches, centimeters, millimeters for you guys overseas, anything you want, you can adjust it up here. Same thing here, I could do like 300. Now it's gonna skew it because I don't have it locked, maintaining that aspect ratio. So I need to make sure that I do lock that in, and I can have my little 300 wide photo right here to place on top of this other rectangle. So that's a pretty cool way to um, transform objects and, and make them a certain width and height. I just figured this out. Why did I just figure this out? I don't know. Maybe you already knew this. Maybe some people are in the same boat as me and now you know it and it's going to help you. I really hope it helps you. If it does help you, leave a like on this video. Subscribe for more tips and tutorials and I'll see you guys next time.